So I find myself in this, I'm in this cavern of the mind and it's like a giant underground, very well lit um, cave. Maybe it's kind of like the dwarfs from Lord of the Rings, those big caves that they would build in the mountain. So I'm in this giant cavern and there's all kinds of little hallways and pathways and tunnels and things that go out from here. So where, let's see, where do I want to go? All right, so I'm going, I'm climbing up, 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 climbing up into this one little tunnel. I climb up the rock, hop on in. Looking down, there's a purplish, like pinkish purplish light and the tunnel goes down. So that's intriguing. Well, do I want to see that one? Hmm. There's bluish light coming too as well. Hmm. Looks a little advanced for me. Maybe I don't want to go down this pathway right now. So I'm going to back up. We always have that choice. We can take a peek just to get a... And when you do take a peek, you kind of get the whole thing anyway. You kind of feel if you can feel into it what what it's all about and just decide do i want to explore that right now you don't have to you don't have to commit to the path you can take one step and turn back it's like the longer we go down a single path the more that sunk cost fallacy kicks in and we feel like well we've got to keep going which i understand i've been on one of those benders for a long time now on this one particular path but i'm gonna back out there because what I discovered in there was interesting. It was seemed like a pretty positive place, but like a little too futuristic, a little bit, a lot going on there. So I'm going to come back to the main cavernous chamber. Ah, okay. That wasn't too bad. Now from here, we have the option to say, that's enough exploration for me today. <laughs> Even though I don't really feel like I accomplished a whole lot, that's not true. I went to a place that I've never been before, or at least I don't remember ever going there before. What did I do? I peeked over the little hill and I saw some different colored lights and I was able to say what colors they were, pinkish, purplish, and blue. And I got a feeling I could, I could feel what was coming out of there. Maybe there was different entities, creatures, or energies, or whatever, doing things. Maybe some like, almost like gnomish or like, not scientific, but like people who might be creating very advanced futuristic magical artifacts. Um, like for example, a wand, like a giant staff made out of extremely dense, uh, I don't even know what element you would call it. I'm not sure if it's even something we know about. Some kind of material like that that could that can open up rifts in space time and do all kinds of crazy powerful magic things like probably that i don't necessarily need to know about right now at this stage in my life journey so i return to the main chamber and i'm i'm content i personally have done enough and whatever it is that i felt like i needed to learn i've learned and i can always revisit that again so so if I make another video like this and I sit down, I might remember and be interested in checking out that same tunnel again or not. For me, it's more about what am I feeling in the moment. Alrighty then. See you next time.